Brown eyes. Brown eyes provide the strongest natural protection against sunlight because they contain the highest concentration of melanin. Melanin is a dark pigment found in the eyes, skin, and hair that acts like a biological shield, absorbing harmful UV radiation and reducing glare. For early humans living under intense sunlight, especially in regions like the African savanna, this offered a major survival advantage by preserving vision and preventing eye damage. In the iris, melanin absorbs light instead of scattering it, making brown eyes stable and less reactive to changing light conditions. This lowers sensitivity to brightness and reduces the risk of issues such as photophobia and macular degeneration. Unlike lighter eye colors that reflect light, brown eyes draw it inward, enhancing endurance in harsh daylight. Over 70% of people worldwide have brown eyes, reflecting their evolutionary origin and practical usefulness. Although they typically look uniformly dark, brown eyes can reveal golden or amber tones under candlelight or sunset when scattered light interacts with the outer iris layers. Blue eyes. Blue eyes evolved as an advantage in darker, low sunlight environments, particularly in northern regions with long winters. Because blue eyes contain very little melanin, they allow more light to enter the eye, improving visibility in dim conditions. Their color does not come from pigment, but from light scattering the same optical effect that makes the sky appear blue. When light hits the iris, short blue wavelengths reflect outward while longer wavelengths pass through. This structural effect makes blue eyes shift in appearance depending on lighting, ranging from icy bright to soft gray. Genetically, all blue-eyed individuals can be traced back to a single mutation 6,000 to 10,000 years ago that decreased melanin production. Although blue eyes offer less UV protection and are uncommon in sun-intense regions, their sensitivity to light helped early humans in darker climates, and their rarity may have made them attractive, helping them spread through sexual selection. Green eyes. Green eyes sit at a rare balance between sensitivity and protection. They have moderate melanin along with a yellow pigment called lipochrome, allowing them to absorb light efficiently while still being reactive to environmental changes. This adaptability likely benefited early populations living in temperate climates such as forests or mountainous regions. Only about 2% of the world has green eyes, making them one of the rarest eye colors. Their hue comes from a precise combination of pigment and light scattering. Too much melanin turns them brown, too little makes them blue. Because of this fragile balance, green eyes often appear mossy in shade and golden green in sunlight. Their rarity and shifting tone have made them symbols of mystery, intuition, and magic in folklore. While there is no scientific evidence linking green eyes to personality traits, their visual complexity makes them one of the most captivating eye colors. Hazel eyes. Hazel eyes represent versatility and adaptation. With melanin levels between light and dark, they function well in varying environments. Sun, shade, or seasonal changes. This balance offers both moderate light protection and moderate sensitivity, making hazel eyes highly adaptive in mixed light regions. Hazel eyes are dynamic and often shift from green to gold to brown, depending on lighting, surroundings, or even clothing colors. This change occurs due to how the iris scatters light and the presence of intermediate melanin and lipochrome. Their chameleon-like nature has long given hazel eyes a mysterious and expressive reputation. Found most commonly in people of European or Middle Eastern ancestry, hazel eyes arise from a genetic blend rather than a single trait. Amber eyes. Amber eyes are extremely rare and marked by high levels of lipochrome with minimal melanin, giving them a golden, copper, or honey-colored appearance. Unlike hazel, amber eyes remain the same in all lighting conditions. They do not shift or change tone. This coloration is also common in animals such as wolves and owls, which may explain why amber eyes feel instinctively intense or commanding. Some researchers suggest that people subconsciously associate amber eyes with alertness or confidence, offering subtle social advantages. Less than 5% of the population has amber eyes, often confused with light brown or hazel, but their uniform golden tone sets them apart. They appear most frequently in individuals of Southern European, Asian, or South American descent. Gray eyes. Gray eyes are among the rarest and have even less melanin than blue eyes. This allows light to scatter more broadly across the iris, enhancing low-light sensitivity, 
an advantage in the dim, cloudy climates of Northern Europe. Their color comes from the reflection of light across multiple wavelengths, not just blue. Depending on lighting, gray eyes may appear silver, slate, or even slightly green. This wide dispersion gives them a cool, stable appearance that often feels calm or unreadable. Found in less than 3% of the population, gray eyes are considered subtle, striking, and enigmatic. Black eyes. Black eyes are not truly black, but an extremely dark shade of brown caused by high melanin concentration. This saturation absorbs almost all incoming light, offering maximum protection from sunlight and glare. A strong advantage in equatorial regions with intense UV exposure. Their depth and uniformity minimize light scatter, reducing eye strain and making the color appear flat and mysterious. Black eyes are common in populations from Africa, South Asia, and Southeast Asia. Culturally, they're often associated with strength, mystery, and emotional intensity. Heterochromia. Heterochromia refers to having two differently colored eyes or noticeable variations within one iris. In most people, melanin is distributed evenly. Heterochromia occurs when this balance is disrupted, usually due to minor genetic mutations early in development. While not adaptive in the same way as melanin-based colors, it reflects genetic diversity and developmental flexibility. In rare cases, it can result from mosaicism, injury, inflammation, or certain medical conditions. Most people born with heterochromia have completely normal vision. Because it breaks the symmetry we expect in human faces, heterochromia has historically been associated with mystery, duality, or supernatural qualities.